Welcome back to Danny Phantom Month. Today we are talking about episode 9, which is titled My Brother's Keeper. Another important episode in the overall development and arc of the series, so let's get into it. So, Jazz is worried about Danny because she's noticed that he's been acting weird ever since he got his power. She doesn't know that that's why he's acting weird, but that's the time frame for her. And so she suggests that he see the school guidance counselor who is Penelope Spectra, who we find out is a ghost who gains energy and youth from the misery of teenagers. And so there's this ghost guidance counselor that's directly benefiting from teenagers misery <laughs> and that's like the premise of the episode. There's a lot of really fun ideas in this one. The biggest important thing that happens is Jazz actually ends up discovering that Danny has ghost powers. And they also point out that this is, this is kind of her first interaction with any of the ghosts. They actually do make a point of having her be in like the other room when like a ghost attack happens in almost every other scene in the series up to this point. And so this is her first encounter with ghosts and her first encounter with Danny Phantom, like him fighting the ghosts. And so she kind of puts two and two together and then following him finds uh, out after watching him transform. And yeah, this isn't like a mind erase thing by the end of the episode or anything. This is just a direct change in status quo, which is probably the biggest element of this episode. By the end, she decides not to tell Danny that she knows, but um, has a new kind of respect for him and a new kind of connection to him in a way, where she, she now kind of understands what he's dealing with, and so she will continue to help him keep that identity a secret throughout the rest of the series. Danny eventually figures out that Spectra is a ghost because every time he goes into her office, it's like really cold and so he can see his breath and he thinks that's just because they have the room cold, which they do, but then he realizes that they've done that intentionally so that Danny doesn't notice that his ghost sense is going off whenever he's around her. And so that's kind of a fun idea and cool that the villain is actually smart enough to hide their identity that way. This episode introduces the Fenton Peeler, which is like another one of Jack's gadgets. It's basically like an Iron Man suit <laughs> um, that helps you fight ghosts and a lot like the later movies where like he presses a button and then like a suit goes around you so it's it's that and it pays off nicely as um, Jazz actually dons the suit towards the end of, of the episode to help Danny fight Spectra. Danny has a little bit of an arc about how Spectra's making him miserable and so Danny learns to appreciate his sister more because she does look out for him even though she annoys him most of the time. And so they have like this kind of bonding development where they never really connect like together but they do individually find more appreciation for each other. And it's kind of cute. Some other little fun things in this episode um, because Spectra is causing misery amongst the teens. She's giving all of like the other like supporting characters like terrible advice that just amplify all of their anxieties. It's it's like played for comedy but it's like kind of terrifying <laughs> because it's like exactly all of the anxieties that teenagers <laughs> feel and then their guidance counselor is com not only useless but but directly amplifies all of those anxieties. Come think of it, my guidance counselor was kind of worthless. And so it's this almost satirical play on like teenage life and how useless all of the support systems that are supposed to help you seem to be. And so like Paulina is just like even more like I have to be beautiful or no one will like me. Dash has a great line where he says um oh, it's another day another 24 hours to a life of pumping gas and stuff like that which is great. We get to see uh, Valerie again who just has like a kind of background cameo role in this episode but which is Notable because in the in the episode following this, she actually becomes a real character. But I always find it interesting to, to see her pre-fully realized character. There's some kind of weaker elements throughout. Spectra has this sidekick guy who can like shapeshift into different things so that Danny has someone to fight <laughs> for this episode, otherwise he doesn't really have much purpose. Although there's a really fun moment where like towards the end of the episode he turns into a ninja and he's like, alright, time for a ninja fight and Danny's like, I don't have time for this and just sucks him into the thermos. And Spectra's like ultimate plan is really 
kind of vague and weird. She arrives during Spirit Week and there's a big spirit assembly that they're gonna have. You can get it because spirits and ghosts and blah blah blah, do you get it? And the dynamic is really fun, but then like her plan is just to explode jazz <laughs> for no reason. I guess so that everyone gets sad that a student died. <laughs> I don't know, it's not really explained well, so that's one of the kind of weaker elements of this episode is like, we see like what her motivation is and then she also has an evil plan on top of that and like, what her evil plan is doesn't really make any sense. But that's about it. This episode is mostly notable for giving Jazz some actual character development and changing the status quo of the series moving forward. Spectre is a really fun concept for a villain in this episode and they do some really fun stuff with her. Unfortunately, unlike some of the other villains we've seen so far, they never really use her very effectively in the future. She does come back, but it's never quite as effective as it is in this one. That being said, this episode has some really great satirical high school stuff that touches on like real anxieties and fears of like high school age kids. It's a very good example of Danny Phantom's like high school worldview, which is very satirical, but also kind of realistic. Fun episode, good character development for Jazz, and changes the status quo moving forward, which again is a thing I like about the show, is how a seemingly random episode like this can completely change the main character dynamics of the series, and it stays that way. It doesn't get undone by the end of the episode or later on in the series at all. This is the new status quo moving forward, so I really like that about the series. That's about it. Tune in next time for more Danny Phantom. Danny